The latest round of stay-at-home orders have been lifted and many local businesses are once again open, including outdoor dining for area restaurants. Joining us this morning to talk about what the city is doing to help some of these local businesses, along with how the city is trying to keep our homeless population safe this winter, is Mayor Daryl Steinberg. Good morning, Mayor. Good morning, Aubrey. Good to be with you. So there's this clip of you from last week's council meeting. It made the rounds and in it you were addressing dangerous weather conditions and the effect it's having on Sacramento's homeless. Can you tell us what's happened since then and how the city is now responding? Well, since then we have made the decision to essentially divorce ourselves from the prior requirement that there has to be a certain temperature threshold in order to open a warming center. It's 32 degrees and it's part of the county public health. Movement. We've decided uh, that we are going to open these warming centers through the end of the winter. And frankly, my view, and I've been very consistent about this, I think we should have indoor space for our homeless population every night of the year. It shouldn't matter what the weather is, frankly. Um, our mission needs to be to bring in people um, that living outdoors should not be an option. Now, that's a long way off, and it's not just a city issue, it's a, it's a state and a national issue as well. But um, Tuesday night was horrible, uh, obviously, and our decision going forward is we are not going to rely on whether it's 32 degrees, 35, 40, 45, 50, it's cold, and people should not be living out of the elements. Yeah, and you know, when we saw that video, anyone who saw the clip, you know, obviously you're very passionate. Um, you, were, you were very upset. So it's good to know that, you know, um, obviously we have to plan for what we can do now. A lot of people are very critical of some of your longer term plans to help the homeless. Um, what needs to happen next and, and what else can we do right now? Well, first of all, there, we need a combination of short term emergency relief, but also long term planning. Look, at people are critical of my plans. That's uh, I'm accountable. I accept that. Um, Certainly throughout the state and in our city, while we've gotten thousands of people off the streets, we have during my tenure, thousands of people. The problem has, in fact, grown worse. And, and so um, my commitment is to continue to fight to build as much shelter, to build as much permanent housing, to try to partner with our county on increasing mental health uh, and substance abuse services, because it's not just housing and to do everything we can to get more people on the street. Fundamentally, though, Aubrey, I believe that the policy of this country, of this state and our city needs to be that it can no longer be voluntary or optional for us to bring people indoors. It needs to be a requirement uh, because, frankly, when you step back and look at it now, it's optional. We don't say it's optional for local communities to provide free public education for its kids. Why is serving the homeless and having enough shelter or housing for all of our people an option? It shouldn't be. It should be a requirement. Now, another big issue that's kind of changed this past week is the stay-at-home orders. They've been lifted for us here in Sacramento. So local restaurants can again have outdoor dining, but is it going to be enough to keep them afloat? We know they've really been hit so hard this past year. There's no question that our small businesses have been hit the hardest. And by the way, there is a connection between the homeless problem and our, our small businesses because downtown and in other parts of the city, um, not only is homelessness unhealthy for the people experiencing it, it's also negative for neighborhoods and for businesses. Um, look, at we put a significant amount of our federal CARES Act stimulus money to help small businesses. When the federal government, the blue Biden administration, the Congress passes the next stimulus, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to provide as much assistance as we can to our small businesses because they deserve it. And yes, we will lose some. We already have. But I am still confident that Sacramento will regain that momentum. Everything is about the vaccine. We've got to get back to back, back to normal. But um, obviously, we're not there yet. Um, I have more hope than I've had in a long time in part because I think we now have a national strategy and a state strategy, and I do believe that uh, we are going to get there. 
And you talk about we're not quite there, but we do see sort of this light at the end of the tunnel. What are you asking of patrons, of people who are going to be out and about, maybe trying to patronize some of our local businesses and restaurants? What do they need to keep in mind as the city opens up more to keep slowing that spread of COVID? Well, it's the same thing we've been saying for now nearly a year. Mask up, please. Obviously, when you're eating, you can't have a mask on. But every other time, you should have your mask on. Um, take precautions. Don't gather with, you know, large groups outside of your own uh, household. All of those precautions are absolutely still necessary. I've, I've always believed that while we can't control the virus, we can control the pace of spread. In Sacramento, we've done a pretty good job over the years. It's been so hard. But, you know, think about what, what, what ahead if we do this right. Kids go back to school and businesses reopen, not just outdoors, but indoors. There's so much to look forward to. We just have to continue to do our part. And Mayor, is there anything coming up on the council's agenda that you can tell us about uh, that you guys are focusing on as well? Well, tonight we're going to pass what's called the mid-year budget. Um, and in the mid-year budget, we are going to dedicate, I hope, with the vote of my colleagues, about $40 million to the housing crisis. So you ask, what are we what are we doing around homelessness and affordable housing? We're going to put $40 million, and it's one-time money, so it can't be spent on an ongoing program. But we're going to put $40 million into an affordable housing trust fund so we can do more to make sure that uh, everybody, uh, regardless of their income, has a safe and dignified place to live. All right, Mayor. Thanks so much for uh, dialing us up this morning and talking to us. You can get more information uh, from the mayor at engagesac.org.